What is up guys, Fine Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Unleash Blading video. So, the, oh that was kind of loud. The 2.5 anniversary has officially begun, the first banner and events are live, and uh, it's pretty exciting. It, it really feels like the two year anniversary just ended, uh, which I guess makes sense because the banners themselves didn't go away till like the sometime in December. So it's really only been you know, almost five months since everything went away. But uh, it'll be exciting to see what we get. Uh, as you can see, I do have the background for the 2.5 anniversary. Uh, you can see it a little better right here. Unfortunately, you can never really just like not have a character here. Um, but I guess it is what it is. You'll get this background at the start of the new pass. Uh, I guess we can quickly take a look at the stuff that's kind of in here. Um, as we scroll along, I'm not going to buy, buy this until we're done with our summons today. Uh, but I'm going to end up buying it regardless because, uh, we do know it is guaranteed new unit on step seven. So if by step seven, I still, or by step six, I still don't have, uh, Roni, I will guaranteed to get her on step seven. Okay. So it looks like pretty standard stuff, you know, cubes, tickets, Okay, there's a Kirito and Asuna artwork in the paid version for stage 93. And then, of course, we get... What's this? Roni background, and then... Um, premium pass reward. Oh, okay, so it's a little uh, moon cradle uh, artwork right there. So, pretty cool. So... Oh, okay, it's going to show it to us again. And, of course, the uh, Magical Girl Kirito is the free unit, uh, which is actually pretty good because since it's a Kirito, that means a lot of versatility for anyone who's going to have Kirito as an active link partner. Um, there is still this banner for a while, uh, limited character uh, scout. So if you are into... Oh, so now it just changed. Okay, so before it was the choosable one, but now that the anniversary has actually begun... It's just a uh, limited rate up. Um, so you still get limited units. If you don't have any limited units, you know, this might be a banner to go on. But uh, for the most part, I would skip that and just do the anniversary banners since they are newer units. So to quickly go over how this banner works, I'm not going to go over the unit again because she's really not crazy. But it's the first Integrity Knight Roni, so of course I want to summon for her. Uh, step three, you see it right here, guaranteed four star. Step 5, guaranteed 4 star, with a 50% chance to be Roni. And Step 7, the final slot will be Roni guaranteed. So if you just get super unlucky. So with 2,077 cubes, I will be still getting her and walking away with still at least 500 cubes left over. Hopefully, by Step 5 at the latest, we can get her. But if not, I'm not going to be super upset if it takes till Step 7. I'll just have to uh, recharge my cubes by the time I have to summon again. Uh, but I really haven't summoned in quite a while. Well, I wouldn't really say that. I summoned on the Dark uh, Demon Lord Kirito. I just got super lucky. And then the banner before that. Well, two banners before that. I got super lucky with the Yuki as well. Let's see if that luck translates here. And uh, let's dive right in. Oh, yeah. And also to mention, step one and two are both 50% off. So the first two steps, just 250 cubes total. Now, I just want to say, if I do get lucky, you know, step two, step four, wherever I pull her, uh, that is where I will stop. Because, obviously, there are going to be four 2.5 anniversary units. And if I can get all four, I'd love to do it. But I'm really going to focus on two. I'm going to try and focus on one of each color, since there will probably be two colors if there's four banners. Uh, Roni this week is Wind. Next week is probably going to be Tease, I'm going to guess, and she's probably going to be Wind as well. Um, so I'll, I might skip her, especially if the third unit does end up being Lizbeth. I really want a new Lizbeth that's going to be solid. So she would definitely be someone I'd want to summon more for instead of another Tease, especially since... So... Okay, well, we're done. Uh, like I said, there's four units this anniversary, so I'm not going to keep summoning. My uh, my good luck continues, so uh, 
All right. And she was in the guaranteed spot for step one. Okay. Um, well, this is going to be a very short video then. There's really no reason for me to keep summoning. Like, yes, I could go for dupes, but it, it's... I feel like dupes aren't as important in this game. Um, we can at least look at what her weapon does. Not that I'd summon for her weapon either. Because I feel like summoning for weapons is pointless. I just wait for the, uh... I wait for exchange swords and then just grab the swords I want. Um, okay, attack a magic attack. Attack 5% when using an assault skill and required MP is lowered. I might grab her weapon. Um, I think I've still got a good, like, 15 to 20 exchange swords, so I can still get a handful of weapons. Um, but like I was saying, um, I do... So originally what I was going to say is I wasn't going to summon for Tease next week, if it is Tease, because next week won't be another ranking event, so it's not super necessary if I'm already going to be comfortable with where I end up. But uh, now I am considering... I don't know. I still might wait to sit, since I won't need for ranking again. I still might, if it is Tease, I might wait to see what the third banner is and see how I do with those. And then I can always go back to summon for Tease later if, um, if I have some cubes left over at the end of everything. Very happy about that, though. Only had to spend 125. Um, I'm still a little baffled that that's all it took. But, uh... I love that artwork. It's really good artwork. It's just under the stars like that. Very, very cool. Um, but yeah. So I guess let me know what you guys think down below. Oh, let me, um, let's show off her incarnate since we have her here. For those who didn't see it during the live stream. It's not crazy. It looks pretty simple, but I have to see how it ends actually. Okay, it's simple, but I'm not really, like, super upset about it. Um, I'm really just happy that she's fine. We finally have Integrity Knight Roni. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna get her leveled up and get ready to do the ranking event, which, uh, you know, I'll be able to utilize the collab characters as well. Well, at least, uh, Asuna and Yuriko. I'll be able to utilize them for this ranking event as well as some of my other units. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I do, if the banners are what we expect they're going to be. I mean, the fourth banner is kind of a wild card. So all we know is it's someone with long hair. So it could be any female character. Um, it seems like really, really long hair. So I'm wondering if it will be Quinella. Um, but if the banners are Roni, Tees, Lizbeth, and Quinella then I think the banners I'm going to focus... I'm definitely... Lizbeth would be top priority over the other three. And then after that, I'd probably go for... I don't know. I, I probably want to get all four if I can, but... Uh, probably Quinella over T since Quinella doesn't have as many units as Tease, I feel like. No, they're, they're probably about even. I don't know. It's really going to depend what they do uh, and what I really need, especially what the second color is going to be. It's probably going to be light since this new Kirito is light as well. Um, in which case, if I look at my light units, I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty set on light. I've still got the summer unit, the summer, um, Sinon from last year. What else we got here? We have the two year anniversary units, you know, this Asuna right here, a uh, very solid unit. We also have the two year anniversary Kirito, um, so light, I'm pretty set as well. So it's really going to depend on the use. Oh, and of course, we have Yu-Gi-Oh too. Yu-Gi-Oh is also a light unit. Because I forgot, Kirito and Asuna came together, and then the week after was Yu-Gi-Oh. So light, I'm actually sitting pretty nice as well. So it's really going to depend what the units are going to be. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know how your summons went if you decided to summon for this Roni. Hopefully, uh, people can get somewhat lucky like I did. But, uh, yeah. So, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone. So, yeah.